Hi everyone and welcome to the VET delivered to secondary schools or VETUS design fundamental information session. My name's Darren Smith. I'm the coordinator of the design courses and I'm Ingrid Phillipschuk and I am the coordinator of the visual arts courses. So why choose design fundamentals at Box Hill Institute? All of our classes are very practical. Most of the assessments are projects, which may be either manual or digital or a combination. And you'll be briefed on a project and then given class time to complete these tasks. You'll have access to the Adobe Creative Cloud suite of programs, both in class and at home. As part of these projects, you'll gain an understanding of the principles and elements of art and design, and you'll experiment with a range of creative thinking and idea generation techniques. The activities in class and the projects you complete in the course not only help you build skills, but they also help you build a body of work from which will help you select and build a portfolio. You can then use this portfolio when applying for tertiary art and design courses. When you study with us design fundamentals, there's actually two streams. There's the graphic design one that you can choose or there's the visual arts stream. So once you've done those, either of those, there's quite a few different courses you can go into at Box Hill Institute. So we have the Certificate 4 of Design is a very generalist type course. There's the Certificate 4 in Visual Arts. We also have the Diploma of Graphic Design. Diploma of Visual Merchandising, the Advanced Diploma of Building Design. And then as of 2022, we hope to deliver a brand new degree called the Bachelor of Design, Digital Design. Other universities offer a Bachelor of Visual Communication as well. In terms of employment opportunities at this level, you could come out and look at work as a junior employee in graphic design, marketing, media, or the animation business. We have great facilities at Box Hill Institute. We have this course running at all three of our campuses. So Lilydale, Box Hill, Nelson campus, and also Box Hill City campus. Each of these campuses have different facilities and different opportunities for you to explore. So there's Mac Labs with great large screen iMacs, all with the Adobe Creative suite of programs installed. We have art studios at Nelson for doing manual work, drawing, painting, and mark making, and also fully equipped drawing, painting, sculpture, and printmaking studios at our city campus. At Nelson campus, we also have a small photography studio. There is a larger one at Elga campus, and you also have access to our student portal, which is we call student web. This is where you'll find all your subject information including the project briefs, the learning resources, and all the upload links for your submission of your work. That's where you look at your teacher feedback as well, so you can know exactly where you're up to. There's obviously also the student lounges and cafeterias at each campus, and there's great different things at each campus as well. Lilydale has a beautiful setting with lots of greenery and the point of view cafe with great views from that cafe across the Lilydale Lake. The city campus obviously has all the other great eateries, shops and galleries nearby. And Nelson has the Box Hill Shopping Centre nearby. And everything's really easily accessed by public transport, train, tram, bus. It's all very easy to get to. There's also the student support services for those that might need some additional support on top of what's provided by your teacher in class. So what is expected of you when you come to us? It's very, very different from school. Uh, we don't do exams, but attendance and participation is really important. And we do really encourage you to effectively use your time on campus to do your tasks, and that will reduce your homework component. You're coming to us because we're fun. So we want your whole process to be really fun learning with us. How it works is you do submit evidence of practical work for each competency, and that is done via student web. And you, you're building a portfolio, as Darren said, you build a portfolio of creative work. That's the main assessment type task that we do have. 
student web it's highly accessible it's an internet based program you can access it from anywhere in the world basically so it's very flexible and if you miss a class something happens maybe you've got an exam at school or something like that you can always go back into student web and see what did you miss for that class i mean you don't want to miss too many classes but if you do miss one or two here or there for various school reasons or illness it's easy to go back in and see what you missed but it, it's back on you though to catch up yes we treat you like an adult in our environment yeah that's basically it in terms of what we expect from you so as mentioned earlier we have a couple of streams of this program so there's a graphic design or design focus in the courses run at Lilydale and Nelson campus and I'll talk about those now and there's also the visual arts stream which is run out of the city campus so in the design design stream in the first year you'll have fun learning about color which is some manual work and also on computer you'll look at sort of color harmonies and how color can add impact to the images that you create. You'll learn some drawing techniques, both manual and digital, and you'll be drawing from observation as well as drawing for concept development. Drawing is the quickest way to get ideas from your head out onto paper and work out some possible solutions for your designs. And in the 2D design, subject you'll learn about the principles and elements of design or art and design and this is through a series of mark making techniques and tasks and you'll then rearrange these into different compositions using both manual and or digital collage techniques in the second year there's a little bit of more of a focus of on the adobe programs and how you can incorporate some of the artwork you create into these programs and you will also learn about uh, selecting and applying type to these designs so using type or fonts in your uh, layouts or designs uh, you'll also learn a little bit about uh, taking and editing photos and lighting different lighting conditions how to enhance the images and combine them in photoshop there's also a 3D forms subject, which you'll learn a little bit of the principles and elements of 3D design and explore different mediums with creating 3D objects. So that's the design stream. And then we also have the visual arts stream. Yeah, so the visual arts stream, the, the units are often the same as what you do in graphic design, but the context is different in terms of for example, follow a design process and explore the use of colour. You're still learning about design fundamentals, but you're using it through the medium of painting. We do digital images as well, so a little bit of digital artwork. We also, we add in the creative arts industry career paths as well to give you an understanding of if you do choose to go down a creative arts path, what sort of careers are open to you. When it comes to second year, our 3D subject we actually align to sculpture so you're learning about the principles using sculpture as the method that's traditional and digital sculpture you'll do both we also have photography and 2d it, it becomes a printmaking unit so we, we look at principles of design through printmaking for 2d thanks des okay so these programs will contribute to your atar score if you're a vce student and to your vcal program if you enrolled in a VCAL program and doing our design fundamentals course. So that's also a bonus. Obviously, you need to complete those programs so that you can get the benefit. For more information, there's quite a few different outlets you can go to to make contact. So there is the website. You can apply online via the website. You can also email our VETUS team, which is directly, and there's the email address there or contact them by that phone number. We also have Facebook and Instagram. If you need to contact us directly, if you go via any of those means and just say you would like to talk to the coordinators, um, they'll get the message to us and we'll make contact with you. Anyway, we look forward to meeting you. The next time we should see you is at orientation, late January, I imagine that's when it will be. Great, It'd be nice to see you. One thing I did forget to mention and uh, is with the 
Cert 3 design fundamentals. If you do pathway on to the Cert 4 in design, you, there are a couple of credits for subjects that you do in this course that means you won't need to do them in the Cert 4 in design. And that may apply to some of the other programs as well. Yeah, it applies to visual arts as well. Yeah, so there's there's an extra sort of benefit of doing doing this program. All right, thank you everyone. And uh, as Ingrid mentioned, there will be an orientation session in the first week of the uh, course when it starts in early February or late January. Okay, thank you.